right, today we're going to look at derivatives of logarithmic functions. So I'm going to give you one straight off the bat, and that is the derivative with respect to x of a to the x is equal to a to the x times the natural log of a. So this is something you're going to have to take for granted, and I'm going to give you another one soon that you're going to have to take for granted, but again, these can all be proven with the derivative laws or the definition of a derivative. So please prove this on your own, but I'm also going to give you some little definitions here. Ln of a, which I call this ln, some people just call this log, or the natural log, I say ln for short, and this is equivalent to log base e. So if you have ln of a, that's the same thing as saying log base e of a. So this is equivalent, so I'm going to give you guys this definition right here. And now, using this definition, we are going to figure out the derivative with respect to x of log base a of x. So, how are we going to do this? First of all, we are going to let y equal to log base a of x. And what we know about logs is that this is equivalent to saying that a to the y is equal to x. If you might remember from your pre-calculus to find any problem it's this to this is equal to this and if you want a nice detailed proof or an explanation you should probably go uh, check out other videos or google it uh, this isn't the time for that so hopefully you know this um, if not you probably will need this skill for a while so you should be okay if you don't know it completely so if a to the y is equal to x and I'm gonna actually scroll back up so we have the derivative of a to the x so we're going to di dif implicitly differentiate both sides of this equation. So what we have here on the left side is, well, the derivative of a to the y is a to the y times ln a multiplied by the derivative of y because we are implicitly differentiating. And the right side, the derivative of x, is simply 1. All right, so now what we can do is we can bring everything that's not y prime over to the right side, so 1 divided by a to the y ln a, and we do remember that a to the y is equal to x, so the derivative of log base a of x is equal to 1 over x ln a. So there's a nice derivative right there, in fact I will summarize it right here, log base a of x is equal to 1 over x natural log a. So this is the natural log, not just a regular log, so this is something that you might have to remember. What I am going to tell you though is that this formula right here is not used very often and neither is uh, this formula I gave you up here. You should know these definitely for your exams and tests, but throughout calculus 2 you probably won't see this much, and in applications you're not going to see these hardly ever at all, because the natural log and the derivative of the natural log, which I'm going to get to in a second, is just so much more important. Okay, so I'm going to give you the most important formula here. The derivative with respect to x of the natural log of x is equal to 1 over x. Please prove this to yourself using the definition of the derivative. I am not going to but this is the most crucial formula for a derivative that you will ever need in calculus, 1 over x. Just, you'll see this all the time. So I'm going to jump straight into a problem. It's going to be an easy one, and we're going to see how this works. So we have y is equal to ln of sine x. So if we take the derivative, well, ln x is 1 over x, so this is 1 over sine x. And by the chain rule, we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is sine x. And the derivative of sine x is cos x. So we end up getting cosine of x over sine of x, which is just equal to the cotangent of x. This is a very easy problem, and it shows one of the most important formulas there is. The derivative of ln x. So we'll go with something a little bit more difficult, but it's actually not going to be that much more difficult. So here we go. Problem number two. Let's take the derivative of the natural log 
of x plus 1 divided by the square root of x minus 2. Now this looks a little crazy, but we do have something called the laws of logarithms. And what do these say? Well, if we have the natural log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. And if we have the natural log of a divided by b, this is equal to the natural log of a minus the natural log of b. And another one, if you have um, ln of a to the c, this is the same thing as saying c times ln of a. But this won't be used nearly as often. So we're going to use this to simplify this formula a little bit. So this is natural log of x plus 1 minus the natural log of the square root of x minus 2. Okay, so now when we take its derivative, it's a little bit easier. So we have the log, so this is 1 over x plus 1. If you remember our rule, we take ln of whatever is inside and we put a 1 on top of it and put it as the denominator. Multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is just 1. We subtract, okay, 1 over the square root of x minus 2 times the derivative, which is 1 over 2 times the square root of x minus 2. Uh, we could simplify this. I don't really see a point to, but I guess for the sake of example completion, minus 1 over 2 times x minus 2. Okay, so again, this is a fairly easy derivative, and these rules... Well, they're just quick rules that you just need to learn to memorize and apply. So I'm going to give you guys two practice questions, and then I'll see how you do with them. Okay, so the first one, y is equal to log base 10 of x cubed plus 1. And the second one is y is equal to 2 to the x squared. And I will write these rules again. Uh, the derivative of a to the x is a to the x ln a. The derivative of log base a of x is equal to 1 over x ln a. And the derivative of ln x is equal to 1 over x. So use this information, see if you can figure out the problems, and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, hopefully by now you have figured these out, and if not, well, I'm about to do them for you. So log base 10 of x cubed plus 1. Let's use our formula here. y prime. So this is 1 over x, which is the inside here. So this is x cubed plus 1 multiplied by the natural ln of the base, which is a, so that's 10. So 1 over x cubed plus 1 times ln 10. And then we multiply it by the derivative of the inside of this function, which is 3x squared. So you could simplify this a little bit, but you're really not going to get that far. So 3x squared over x cubed plus 1 times ln 10. So again, it seems complicated, but it's really just a matter of applying the formula and seeing what you get. This one again, I'm not giving you any natural log questions here because they're pretty simple but it's just another chain rule application. So if you have a to the w or sorry, a to the x, in which case this is 2 to the x squared, you get 2 to the x squared multiplied by the natural log of whatever the constant one is here. So 2 to the x squared ln 2 multiplied by the derivative of the inside here, which is 2x. So you get uh, 2x times 2 to the x squared ln 2. And that's really all there is to it. So when we come back next time, using these definitions of logarithmic, logarithmic derivatives, that is a very hard word to say. Uh, we're going to show how to do logarithmic differentiation on huge questions. So remember how we did implicit differentiation? We're going to do it with logs. So study these, and next time uh, you'll see some applications. And they're going to be much easier to do very complicated derivatives once we see this.